How's it going fam? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about the RTX 3090 and everything that was announced during Nvidia's live show as far as specs and pricing goes. There was definitely a lot to take in, so let's just get down to it. So right off the bat, I think everyone can agree that the 3090 is indeed a beast. And for a starting price of 1500 US dollars, it certainly better be. But what does this high price tag get you exactly? Well, the basic RTX 3090 specs are monstrous. With a whopping 10,496 CUDA cores with a 1.7 gigahertz boost clock speed, supported by 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X VRAM running at a 19.5 gigabit per second memory clock speed on a 384-bit memory memory bus providing a 936 gigabytes a second of total memory bandwidth and all these fancy numbers translate to a total of 36 teraflops of compute power on a 350 watt TDP. What the f the 3090's ray tracing capabilities have also been overhauled with the coming of the new Ampere architecture and the RT 2.0 and Tensor 3.0 cores, giving it about two times the ray tracing performance of Turing on top of the general capabilities that this card has. And with 82 RT 2.0 and 328 Tensor 3.0 cores at its disposal, this thing is capable of 69 ray trace teraflops and 285 Tensor teraflops. Now what do all these numbers truly mean in terms of capability and performance? Well Nvidia said themselves that this GPU is capable of 8K resolution at 60 frames per second and even gave us some examples of this. Of course we will need more hands-on testing before finalizing this statement, but on paper the RTX 3090 looks to be twice as fast as the RTX 2080 Ti with more than double the CUDA cores, double the video memory, and a little more than two and a half times the total compute power. It's insane that some RTX 2080 Ti models cost close to the RTX 3090's $1500 starting point and offers half the performance on paper. That just backs up Nvidia's statement of this being their biggest generation Elite, providing Ampere with 50% more performance than Turing at half the power consumption. Now I'm certainly not going to take any thunder away from the true power that this card brings to the table, but with the RTX 3080 and 3070 releases being more than capable for 4K gaming and destroying any resolution under that, it almost seems like this card is a bit overkill for most people. Now keyword being most, I understand that some people do use multi-monitor setups for crazy builds that Nvidia even demonstrated when revealing the 3090, and sure, 8K TVs will start to drop in price just like like the 4K ones did a few years from now, but I don't know very many people who will look at a 3090 at all, regardless of its brute force, just because of its price point and value we get with its more affordable siblings. That's what I want to know from you guys. Do you think this card is absolutely overkill, or do you think it's great that we are seeing such a massive bump in performance, even if it's something you'll never buy? Or are you one of the folks that'll actually be buying this card? If so, spam my comment section below and definitely let me know. As always, I like to keep these videos short, sweet, to the point, and reveal as much information as I can as quickly as possible. If you enjoyed the video please remember to drop a like as it helps me out a ton and as always guys it's been a pleasure please stay safe stay happy and keep on gaming